Hello everyone, this is Cyber Littles again, and today we're going to go over the knockout feature that everyone has been talking about lately. So, this is what we're going to do. The first step to doing a knockout is that you want to choose a font that is thick bold. Something like Akbar or Arial Black Arial Bold. So, we're going to do this. First word's going to be knock. I'm going to supersize it. And put it as close together as possible without it actually touching. And this may require you to ungroup a little. Okay, that's as close as I, I could actually get that O a little closer. Like that, and then just move the CK. Okay, I got it as close as I want. I'm going to weld it all together now. And my next word is going to be out. Okay, knock out. And I want to decrease my letter spacing so I can get them as close together as possible. Okay. Okay, so I have them as close together as possible. And I'm okay with the design, so I'm going to weld it all together. Because when we're ready to slice, you can only slice two images at a time. So now that you see, this is all one image. And I'm going to do a basketball, since I already have it over here. Okay, so the whole purpose of a knockout, change the color of it for demonstration purposes, is that you, just the words to show, but like a, a slight picture of the image within the wording. So I place my image on top of my words, select, uh, hold on, before I do that, I wanna duplicate this because I'm going to show you another way that you can do this. But you're going to either hit select all or drag and click over here. Select the slice feature. And now you're going to have all of these little pieces. This little piece right here, here's the trick. We're going to leave that in here like this. Delete that. Delete that. And we're going to change the color of that. Boom, and that is your knockout. It is really just that easy. And you can see with the basketball, all of the basketball parts are within the letters. But of course, just in here, these parts aren't included. But this is what is called the knockout feature. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this, I'm gonna attach it for the moment and hide it. Okay, so now we're gonna go to this one. The other knockout feature that a lot of people are um, interested in is picture knockouts. So what I would do is I will make this big. I have an example picture to upload. And I want my kids' photos. These are my kids and my niece. I want their photo to cover the words like so. I'm going to have to make this a little bit smaller. There we go. Make this smaller. Make this smaller. There we go. Okay. There we go. So, okay. So we got knockout. I put the picture on top and we can select all and slice and here we go we take out that part and there you have it and that's how you do your photo knockout and this would actually be a print cut so when you go to make it it's going to show you your print cut image like so so that is the brief tutorial on how to do the knockout. We did a photo knockout real quick. And then let me see if I could un put this back. And then we're going to detach and change the color in the middle. Again, basketball orange. Maybe do this in like a royal blue. Okay. So now we've done the knockout, the picture knockout as well as the clip art knockout i hope that these tips i hope i didn't move too fast but it's really an easy thing to do once you've done it a couple times
So I hope that these tips and tricks was helpful to you guys, and I look forward to seeing your projects using the knockout technique.